concentric pier is located underneath the foundation itself, usually 28 to 30 inches deep under the footing, and then the bracket that supports the structure is then placed under the footing of the home. An eccentric pier is loaded on the outside of the house, so we actually have to cut the footing to get the bracket underneath the footing of the house. The difference is driving one foot sections with a concentric pier, you're driving three foot sections with a eccentric pier. So an eccentric pier is driven down to load-bearing strata and bedrock. All piers that are driven to load-bearing strata or bedrock are driven with the weight of the structure. So they use the weight of the house to advance them deep into the soil. You know, you can go from 54,000 to 100,000 pounds of capacity with an eccentric pier, 54,000 max with a concentric pier. So depending on the load, depending on the depths, and depending on you know the product, what you want to lift and what you want to do with it, is going to vary depending on uh, the type of pier.